Hey, it's about two days, well, day and a half, October 6th, since I updated to vSphere 7.0, update one. This is the vCSA appliance, the vSphere client view, HTML5 interface. And I noticed an issue this morning. Let's see if I can get it to pop up again. Uh, it disappeared, but this is what it looked like. So good thing I grabbed a screenshot. It quite simply said this, new health issue, and then the bottom right, server error, invalid extension ID. And then it talks about eight, HTML5, H5, vSAN UI, folder monitor, I don't know. I never had vSAN configured on this vCSA appliance that was actually built fresh, I believe about eight months ago, uh, over on 6.7 land, and then moved to 7.0 successfully. So I don't know what's up with that error. Let's see if I can get it to show up again. Um, nope, okay, let's hit refresh here. Hit learn more there. Let's see if I can get it to pop over the bottom right of my screen there. It seems like a no. So let's try a log out. Working hard to make it happen. <laughs> um, good, there we go. Alrighty, I'm not getting it to pop over. So what I was hoping to do is send detail, details to VMware. And in the time it took me to do this screenshot, it looks like um, I lost it. Um, I took that 15 minutes ago. Send details to VMware link has vanished. So now I'm not sure what to do. Ah, here we go. I believe I may have clicked on the yellow bang. Yep, there it is. Send details to VMware. And I'm going to put my email address. Okay, take screenshot. Let's do that. Uh, that's not good. It doesn't show here. Uh, the yellow bang is missing, so that screenshot is not terribly useful. Annotate the screenshot. Clear all screenshots. So it's not letting me provide my own file. And I've lost the ability to click send or do anything. So let's see what happens when I remove that. Let's try again. If I make a smaller window, does that help? Take screenshot. Okay, it grabs just the foreground window but I'm still unable to submit. Maximize, makes no difference, can't scroll up and down. So maybe this has to do with Chrome tabbed interface? I don't know. So let me test out that theory. Um, so it's tabless. I've got a HTML5 vSphere UI here that's in a um, separate, you know, broken out window. Let me, um, Use my sysadmin uh, Chrome profile here. So now we're going to go into vSphere client with a tab without the suppression of the tabbed interface. And it looks like the yellow bang has gone away. So learn more. Does that work? There it is. Learn more. Yellow bang's back. Send details to VMware. Paste. Okay. And let's see if. Take screenshot works this time. Nope, just as problematic. In a much smaller window. Yep, just cannot submit the ticket. So that's unfortunate. And that's it. Presumably the details are sent. I don't get confirmation. I don't believe I get um, an automatic email alert that anything just happened. I'm checking my inbox now. And indeed, I have no alert. It kind of goes into the uh, bit bucket in the sky. You don't really know what happened. That's unfortunate. So anyhow, this video is intended to provide constructive feedback. Let's see if we can use this. So I've never used it on 7.0 update 1 yet. And we're reporting a problem. It's still on my clipboard. Upload image, excellent. So this is my workaround. So now I have a way to work around the issue. And let me um, 
show this folder. And that screenshot that we took that shows the issue. Very nice. And now I'm able to report the issue to VMware and move on with my day. Thank you for your comments. Feedback sent to the vSphere client team. We may contact you for further information. Okay, so the happy question, uh, happy smiley face works. The UI that comes up from here, when you click in the yellow bang and you get a popover, this one does not. <laughs> That's the gist of this video. Uh, you just learned that together with me. Hopefully you found this helpful and you found my workaround helpful. Thank you again for watching and for visiting. Tinker try. IT at home. Bye for now.